This week question is how can we ensure that matrices are used as a tool for improvement and not as a means of performance evaluation or for micromanagement? I think this is a very interesting question where, you know, uh, in when we join as a scrum master in organization, like, you know, uh, we tend to fall in a, a scenario where like, you know, people want to evaluate the team performance in uh, in the metrics also like you know uh, so you know it, as a scrum master we would really need to uh, make sure that like you know the team is not uh, being micromanaged by all this thing like you know suppose the velocity of the team like every team have a different <laughs> method or technique of uh, uh, um, doing the estimation for a sim uh, for a team with the uh, every sprint their velocity may be 50 the other team may be 40 so you know it does it mean that one team is performing well the other team is performing not well no it is not like that so it is a relative estimation and a and every team may be estimating it slightly differently. So, you know, we need to understand and help the management also understand that these are not the matrices to evaluate the team's performance. Uh, for an example, I would like to say when I joined my current organization, the uh, organization was trying to function in uh, Scrum and they were estimating it. Uh, since uh, in, after every sprint, like um, uh, the uh, individual performance was um, uh, perform uh, checked by the number of story points they have done. So what happened? Like the uh, because of this, the team member wanted to estimate it higher, always higher. So when I enter uh, the uh, organization, I coach them that you know this is a relative estimation, and we should not get too attached to the number because the team members are. Uh, mostly focus on their individual performance rather than the team performance. So, you know, I coach them that not to evaluate the team performance relatively to the uh, every story point they are doing in each sprint. Also, maybe the burn, looking at the burn down chart, I would like to say like, you know, this is also a chart, maybe a very good chart for the Scrum Master to evaluate like how far we are from the sprint goal. So this is one chart we can use it to um, uh, evaluate and you know discuss in the daily Scrum like how, uh, how it is progressing, is there any blocker or um, uh, why it is going flat or going up or down or like you know what is the status so you know this gives an opportunity for the team members to understand like you know how far we are so you know the team members are more active and also like you know also this is one of the metrics that we can discuss after every sprint in the retrospective session like you know how uh, the performance of the team looking at the graph like you know so this is also one uh, very very good tool to like evaluate ourselves. But again, like you know, this should not be a tool to a forest scrum master to micromanage the team. So this is my perspective. So over to you. Yeah, thanks, Chetna. So I would like to add few points, like similar to yours only. So first thing is that uh, whenever there is a matrices uh, in your team that has been. Uh, captured or that has been uh, showing to the leadership so that should have a defined uh, objective and um, goals because uh, like the team should understand that what is the objective and uh, goal that you want to achieve through this particular matrices so that idea should be there uh, for everyone whether it is a development team or the PO or uh, in the when we are presenting that to the leadership as well. So this, uh, this all the matrices uh, that has been uh, present, uh, that will be presented to the leadership uh, should be aligned with this particular objective and goal which you have uh, for your team. So first point that one, so define uh, your goal and objective. Then second is that first try to check uh, if you are a new Scrum Master to the, to the team, try to understand whether the matrices what have been used is relevant to the particular team or not. Because sometimes there are many matrices will be there which are not, which will be very misleading and they will not give any relevant uh, information or there won't be any improvement for the team. So 
better not to have all those mattresses try to uh, talk to the team and if you want you can maybe discontinue with that particular mattresses so uh, use only the relevant mattresses which will help team to uh, you know, work in a better way uh, for their improvement basically and regularly review all those mattresses which are there sometimes it happens that uh, mattresses are being used from uh, long back but uh, that time that mattresses maybe was useful but now this mattresses is not giving any particular data or any relevant data or it's not uh, using for uh, any team's improvement so review those mattresses if you, uh, if possible then improve uh, that particular part or use some other mattresses in instead of that Okay, uh, third point could be uh, you need to uh, focus on the trends. Suppose, you know, uh, whether the mat how the trend is going for the particular mattress. Is it a, a mat mattress is improving or it is declining? So what is the trend? So based on the trend also, you'll be able to understand whether that mattress is useful uh, for the entire team or not. Okay, then uh, uh, fourth point could be you now uh, you can encourage team uh, to learn from the matrices. Okay, so, uh, because uh, as you said, right, velocity chart or the uh, how much story points team member is uh, doing. So that chart is anyway, it will not help team to uh, work in a better way. It might, uh, you know, give uh, that individual person to um, you know, work in a uh, you know, very, uh, they are thinking in an individual uh, way, right? That I, I should uh, work on a more story points, but they will not work as a team, right? So that agile mentality is not uh, going to build up here. So better uh, use those matrices from which it will, uh, give the team member also that they can learn something out of that particular thing okay so these are all few uh, actionable uh, item also sometime it happens that uh, i think you have already added the first point right that comparing the velocity between two teams okay so that is also should not be uh, definitely should not be there in the uh, matrices thing uh, because anyway, a different team will perform in a different way, whether they are uh, same uh, member of team, uh, like 10 member here and 10 member other uh, team. So their uh, velocity is different. So it is quite possible. It's not very surprising thing. And we should not uh, compare uh, any teams with uh, each other. So yeah, that these are all the points from my end where we can avoid the micromanagement. Yeah, anything else you want to add? Thank you so much. Yep. Yeah.